Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we've seen how to insert a picture in Excel from the web using VBA macros. And actually we could use the same method to insert a picture from your local drive. Just replacing the web URL with the file name and path where the picture is located. So in this video we're going to actually see how to insert all the pictures in a given folder using VBA macros. And that will look like something like this. We'll get a dialog to pick a folder. I'm going to pick the folder logos and then click OK. We're going to get all the logos, all the pictures in that folder, one after another in the active worksheet. So let's see how to do that. Let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. And first we're going to declare a variable. Let's call it my dialog as a file dialog. And we'll need some string variables. Let's say my folder a string and my file as a string and then we're going to set my dialog as the application dot file dialog and we're going to get the MSO file dialog folder picker because we want to pick a folder and insert all the pictures in that folder. So we've already seen how to launch a dialog box in Excel in a previous video. I'm going to leave the link up here because I'm not going to explain all of that again. So now if my dialog dot show equals minus one, and that's when we select the folder, otherwise it would be zero, then we can assign to my folder, my dialog, select the items, and it's going to be only one item, only one folder. And then we're going to add the application path separator, which is usually the backslash so that we can concatenate the folder with the file name. Then we're going to get my file or files using the dir function with my folder. And here we could specify if we want to target just a specific type of picture or of file using my asterisk dot with the extension, for example, bng. That would select only the files with that extension, so pictures with PNG extension. We, we could also target uh, JPEG extension or any other, but that would only target that specific extension. So I'm going to select all of them. And now we're going to start a loop which is going to work while my file is different than nothing. Then we will use a row counter which is going to increment by one for each file and we're going to add in cells row r comma column one which is column a we're going to have the name of the file which is my file while the picture is going to be in column b and so with column b or what is the same cells r comma two we're going to first format the height to fit the picture so row height and we can have something like 40 or 50 let's say 40 or 46 and then we're going to get the coordinates and dimensions of the cell to insert and fit the picture in that cell. So we're going to have X as the left of that cell, Y as the top. Then we're going to ha have the width and we're going to have also the height. Now we can end the width statement here. And finally, we can insert the pictures with add picture method and my folder concatenated with my file comma and let me move to the next line we're gonna set the link to the file to false and save with the document true and and i have already explained that in a previous video i'm leaving the link up here so check that video if you want to know if you want to understand what each parameter means now the last four parameters refer to the X, Y, width and height, position and dimensions where the picture is going to be inserted. Now let's, let's make it like that. Or we can actually put that into another variable. Let's call it my picture. And we can have here my picture is the concatenation of my folder and my file name. And finally, we need to have my file equals to dir. So this is gonna move to the next file in the folder. Now we can actually loop 
and down here we can end the if statement. So let's now run it and see how it works. As you see, it launches this dialog box where we can pick a folder. And I'm already here in one of my um, folders where I have some logos for football teams in the Spanish Premier League. So I'm going to select that folder and click OK. And then we're going to get the name in the first column and the picture for each logo in the second column. So this is how we insert all the pictures in a folder into the Excel worksheet using VVA macros. Thanks for watching.